Hi guys. Just coming on to give you guys an update on Mr. Grant. It is not good news. Um, about 4.30 in the morning, uh, this morning, Grant was really fidgety. He was moving all over the place and um, even got his diaper off somehow. Um, and I noticed his eye, he was holding his eye shut again and he was having discharge coming out of it. So I got him outside. He's over by the fence right now. See him? He's over in the corner over there. So I'm probably going to have to go get him. Let me go get him and get him in the house. And then I'll finish letting you guys know what's going on. Okay. I got Mr. Grant put in the house. And then I cleaned up the landmines. So now I can finish letting you guys know what's going on. Um, so I think I was seeing he woke up at about 4.30 in the morning. Really restless. I got him outside and noticed he was holding that right eye shut again. So called this morning at 8.30, got him into the vet at 9.45, checked the pressures in his eye. His left eye is still good. His right eye was really high again. So what we're doing is adding another eye drop. I don't know what it's called yet. I, I got to go get it. They gave me a script because they don't carry it at the vet. So I've got to run to Meyer to the pharmacy and get it filled. They also gave me another script for more gabapentin. Um... <laughs> So we're adding another eye drop along with the one I was already using. It'll be one drop twice a day, just like the other one. Um, hopefully this can get the pressure down so he's not in so much pain. Um, the gabapentin will help with that too. Um, so we have a recheck scheduled for Tuesday, the day after Memorial Day. Um, and we also scheduled an appointment for june 6th which i believe is a tuesday to have surgery and have that eye removed if we don't end up going that route if this other eye drop helps we may cancel it we ah! may, but it, it, the way that it these eye drops only lasted a couple weeks helping him it's probably going to be he's going to have to get his eye removed so we scheduled it for the sixth um in my gut i'm thinking that's what's going to happen in my gut um, so, um, pray that this other eye drop helps him until we can get him in for surgery if it's needed. Um, and we will find out, like I said, next week on Tuesday, he's going to get it rechecked. We'll see if that eye drop's helping, but we may just go the route of having that eye removed. Why make him keep suffering? Um, if these drops aren't going to help long-term. So say a prayer for Mr. Grant. Um, say a prayer for me. I am so stressed out. I couldn't sleep after I woke up. I couldn't go back to bed. Um, cause I knew that pressure was up again and I thought, oh my goodness, we've only been using these eye drops for a couple weeks and he's already got problems again. And the pressure was really high. Um, so, um, let's hope these eye drops I go get here shortly will help give him some comfort in that eye. The gabapentin for sure will, uh, the pain medication. Um, I just want him to be comfortable. I don't want him to be in pain. Um, so say a prayer for him, um, this weekend and I will, I'm probably not going to have another video till I have his eye rechecked on Tuesday and hopefully they'll tell me those eye drops are working, keeping that pressure down. And then we'll, we'll make the decision from there if we're going to go ahead with that surgery on the 6th, but I think we are. So all right, guys, I hope everybody has a great weekend, this holiday weekend. Um, hope you enjoy yourselves, have some fun, cook out. If you're traveling, I hope you go somewhere fun. <laughs> um, but I will be back Tuesday after we go to the doctor in the morning, and I'll let you know what's going on. Bye, guys. Sorry about the loud car. People in Swords Creek love their loud trucks. <laughs> All right, guys. Talk to you guys again soon. Bye-bye.